all the way. Okay. You still have your offline. You still have your offline here. Okay. So either way, the idea is this: you go out of the point away of the point of impact. All right. This is the point of impact. The moment you stay there, maximum damage is going to your here spot. You go here. Okay. Even if you didn't, if you're not strong enough to be able to deflect this attack by moving away from the point of impact, you're still in a safe side. Plus, you're in a position to do damage against the person. Okay. So right, and the same here. You're in a position to do damage. If you're going to be doing it on the spot, it's going to be a never-ending story. It's going to be a never-ending counter and counter. As long as a particular defense is not effective, it's always like right here. Bam, bam, bam. Straight towards the side of the jaw. So what I'm doing is this. A hammer strike towards the forearm near the elbow. You got the pressure point here. Okay? Down. But I'm not going to start the stop here. I'm going to slightly bring it in. That changes it to the next strike. Now, forearm, instead of just delivering a hammer fist, I'm going to focus on the whole forearm place against the back of the neck. Here. Where is his weight? Now on his back leg. Okay? I'm going from here. I'm going to finish it now with my left hand. I'm going to go one, two, bam. Okay? Now there's going to be a reason why I'm going to leave my hand there. So from here, I go bam, bam. And then I use this. Or once it's there, because this is open, see if you notice, the pressure of my strike open up, the side of the neck where the carotid artery is, strike it. You go from here, go one, two, I open it up, I deliver the neck. Okay, rounded attack. This is where you can use the offline. Now, any kind of weapon, any kind of strikes, what you need to remember is this. They, they go into parts. Chambering position, acceleration, point of impact. Now, while it is building up, it's getting stronger. Right? Now, if you can't fight outside of this range, if, there's, if it is not a choice, you go inside this range. Cut it while it's halfway of its acceleration phase. Okay? Again, down, down. Offline. And if you notice, if I go offline, what happens to his balance? His weight transfers all the way towards the back. So that says a template to whatever will come next from your end. Clear? So the idea is to make him get off balance. Don't allow him to stay stable. He'll be able to just fight it. So you want his weight on either leg or his weight on his heels. That's where you want him to be. So he's going to be in a good position now for whatever 